pneumonia and diseases. Hundreds of them died, withheld medical attention, did the most ghoulish experiments. Here you can see, finally, leakers talked about it. Hillary Clinton had to go down and apologize to him. You probably don't remember this because, you know, you don't follow leakers. Uh, or maybe it's just hard for you to understand what's been going on. These guys, by the way, were not disbanded. This stuff is still going on. Uh, and that might you might do well to kind of remember that. Again, here's how it leaked out. Look at these horacious experiments here they did to people. They say 89 was like 200 people I've, I've heard. So if you listen to leakers, about 90% of the stuff is no good. It's tinfoil hat crowd stuff, which you have to wade through. And some of it is absolutely correct. So here's some examples right here. We can use this. Now, down here on the bottom in a little bit, we're going to go to the Kandahar Giant situation and try to apply this same thing. Now, wait a minute. Let's do another example. We help, let's do this one together. How you do an I a, a war? You get a pretty boy face like this. You swear there's weapons of mass destruction. You swear you won't tear the nation up and you won't make the Halliburtons and the Dick Cheney's rich. What do you do? Well, you lie and here's what happens. There were never any weapons of mass destruction. And you release some photographs like this, the Abu Ghraib stuff. Everybody gets rich. In this one, it was a little bit different. It was managed a little bit better for, from the standpoint of treachery. And then, of course, Iraq now is torn up worse than North or South Korea. There's three ripped jobs on it. How did this stop after all these years? By people leaking, leaking photographs, leaking information, and complicities and things like that. So we're going to use these same techniques that cost us nothing and try to wade through. It's called the... Now, let's go to one... I'll tell you what. Let's go to the CERN Hadron Collider. That's tied in with this giant a little bit. Uh, let's make this a like this two for one. This Hadron Collider, people have been doing occultic experiments there, have been leaking out time at doing ritual sacrifices there. Just pretend, of course. Uh, and it's 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 out there. Google it if you like. What I'd like to do is to just show you a couple photographs of this, and then again, leakers. This is see this jackass. He was he was paid to do this ritual at CERN, the Hadron Collider, trying to discover the God particle. The thing on the left is a man wrapped in plastic. He's pretending like he's suffering. They've got naked bodies. One of these jackasses doesn't even have his pants on. He's just got a jacket on when he does the dance, which unfortunately I'm going to play. Here's the goddess, death goddess they have in front of the CERN. And so all this information you don't hear about unless it leaks out. And let's go ahead. I'm going to let you look at this now and come back after you actually still. Yeah, this is the 666 logo interpretation. Let's look at this thing in just a moment, and I'll, I'll play just a few seconds of the ritual, and then we'll come back and uh, get back to learning about these little nuggets of information, winnowing through them. And I'm still not decided on the, the red-headed Kandahar giant, but uh, we're going to have some... Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and have somebody else come in and talk to us a little bit, and then we'll do the ritual. Maybe that might be easier. Here's some, just some photographs of the stuff they've got going on at CERN, heavily involved in mythologies, heavily involved in getting people's heads thinking a different way about the rituals and making uh, CERN, and it all says right here, mythology and fallen angels and the occult. Unfortunately, that's been going on. Now, I think, yeah, here it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on here and just play this thing and let you decide for yourself if you're happy with this ritual. Okay, now we're going to go to a guy named Tim Alberino for some analysis. Then we're going to come back and do our own checking again. And this leads me full circle to what I believe to be the supreme hidden purpose of the Large Hadron Collider and Sir. Recall that the Celtic deity Cernunos, the horned lord of the underworld, represents the cycle of death and rebirth, of destruction and restoration. I believe that the Luciferian priesthood behind the thrones of the European Union and the United Nations intend to use CERN as the key to literally open the gates of hell 
in order to release the gods that have been imprisoned there, those fallen watchers and arcane entities bound with chains in the abyss of Tartarus. Their prime objective is the restoration of the Golden Age, when the gods mingled themselves with the seed of men, and their hybrid offspring ruled the earth. All of our research points inexorably to this grand conspiracy. It is my contention that the earth is even now being slowly terraformed via chemtrailing, harp, and other such clandestine programs in order to reconstitute the conditions that existed on the planet before the flood of Noah in anticipation of the hybrid race that is coming. Okay, there's some pretty information. Here's a scripture about indeed angels being put away for a certain time. Anyway, back to the, the Kandahar giant. From here on out, if, and, and of course the CERN, Hadron Collider, as these in, this information leaks out and you stumble upon Google or an occasional YouTube in the future, start noting all the things they're talking about, uh, all the leakers talking about things, the ex-soldiers uh, who were over there, or people saw some intelligence or who were asked to rewrite a report, and you can little by little try to, they say the truth has a certain ring to it. Now something else that has a certain ring to it that you really need to do, if you're going to do this kind of work, is you need to read the Bible cover to cover, I would suggest, just like a book. You get an old King James Bible is the best one. If you say, I don't want a King James and get a Webster Bible, a real hard one to read is the Geneva, but whatever, start with King James. Read it cover to cover. Understand a little bit about God's Word, about these giants, about some of the stuff coming up in the future. Don't go to Harry Potter, for God's sakes. Go to what the Bible talks about, spirits coming out of the ground and people talking to other spirits and giants and spell casting and all this stuff. Find out what God approves of and what he doesn't and, and give yourself a chance to at least look at the other side of the issue, if nothing else. At least look at it so when you see these things, these Kandahar giant things and other things in the future, you can have a biblical perspective. Feel free to get a piece of software. The stuff is free. We use it. We showed you how to use it. It's called Takarta. And do your research and have a great time with it. And don't forget that born-again experience. That's the key. Receiving Jesus Christ, what he did on that shed cross and believing in it, and that pretty much gets you saved. Not a lot of rituals. Don't have to give you money. Think of the thief on the cross. Jesus, remember me in paradise. I believe you. Okay, it's done. You're going to make it. Same thing can happen for you. Well, anyway, take care, Lord bless. It's always a pleasure having you stop by here. Now, this was a wild one. I didn't have a chance to go really, really deep on intelligence gathering, but I've showed you how to take bits and pieces of leakers and also what the, the narrative is of whatever a political group is under control at that time. Meld the two together and flesh out some nuggets of truth. Peace to you. God bless you. And bye for now.